Thank you so much. Well, your film like lands a little bit differently now, considering where we are in the world than it would have, you know, probably a few years ago. So, talk to me about that. Um, well, we're coming out at just a, a coincidentally opportune moment, right before an election, when this particular right has been um, actually taken away. Um, this is not something I thought would happen. I thought they'd chip away at it, but the fact that it has happened all at once may end up being a good thing for, for us, for the country. It may galvanize people in a way that it might not have. Well, it's, um, it's interesting you said that because I am included in the group of people that are trying hard to see the positivity in it all, so you think that it might actually be somewhat easier to get our rights back because they were taken away so quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's my own personal feeling, but um, it's, it's, it's easier when you chip away at rights not to notice them. I mean, we live in such a time when attention is divided, but this one fell swoop of it all did certainly get attention. Now, whether that can be maintained, you know, in the sort of one-hour news cycle of, of where we live is another thing. It is bizarre because, you know, in America it is supposed to be a separation of, you know, religion and state. So it is weird that religion even comes into politics because it's supposed to be freedom to religion or no religion at all. Well, I suppose the argument would be that it's not about religion at all, but we do know that, you know, there is a fringe element that is basing their objections to abortion on religious grounds, but I'd like to stress that the vast majority of Americans don't object to a woman's right to have an abortion. So getting away from um, listening to the few would be my hope. And tell me about the film, because the film is incredible. It really goes to show what women can do when they get together. So, so talk to me a little bit, a bit about the film. Yeah, I mean, we... We set out to make, we had very little time, but we shot it on film, on Super 16, with one camera, old school, and um, an incredible amount of planning had to go into that in order to make it work. But I do think that what that process added to the look of the film, to, um, there's, a, there's a forgiveness about film, um, a forgiving quality that works for, for uh, every, aspect that we lacked or had to hide or and it's very kind to actors all of that and it does have a non-judgmental tone to it as well which i think is really important yeah yes and that was um obviously purposeful and the cast everyone was on board with that and then when people do go and watch this film all across the country and then hopefully all across the world what is it that you hope they walk away with after watching i hope that they will it will open a window to maybe a different point of view that will engender an empathetic response. I think that's fair. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I mean, I think it's really going to make a difference. It's, uh, it's only just kind of hitting the nail. Like, it's with the midterms and everything going on, it's crazy that it's being released at this time. I hope, so. I hope it does make some small difference. Yeah. I think it'll make a, a, you know, a bigger difference than, than expected. I think it really will. I think it will. From your lips to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, are you listening, God? Are you listening? Yeah, listening. I think he's listening. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. That's thank amazing. You so thank you. Congrats. Welcome to Fab TV. Look at Hollywood's latest. See all the red carpets dressed to a T. Yeah, you know me. It's all free.